In this video we're going to take a look at Gitra's ability to display the current stack depth within a function and how this can be used to detect stack manipulations. Here we have a simple program. In this program on the first glance looks like a, a simple hello world program. It prints hello world and then returns from this main function. This call to this another main function can be ignored. This is simply code from the minimgnu for windows compiler with which I compiled this example. But now when we run this little program, it actually prints another string, I'm a hidden function. Now, how can this be? If we now switch to the listings view over here and we enable the stack depth display field, which displays the current stack depth. At the beginning of a function, the stack depth is obviously zero. And then when you manipulate the stack, for example, you push a value to, onto the stack, the stack depth increases. And for example, if you subtract something from the stack pointer, the stack depth increases even more. And now on a regular function, when you return the stack steps, should be zero again, because if it's not zero, you will not get the correct return address of a function. If we, for example, look at this function here, at the beginning, the stack depth is zero, and then right at the return, it's zero again. But in case of the problematic function here, this is not the case. And it's not the case because as you can see here, this hidden label, is pushed onto the stack and after that a new frame pointer is set up. This is the same code that sets up a frame point as is used at the beginning of a function. And this causes this leaf instruction down here to not clean up the stack frame that was set up at the beginning of the function but rather clean up this fake stack frame that we set up. And then this pushed label here becomes the return address. If we now go to this hidden function, we can see here that this string, I'm a hidden function, is pushed. And then subsequently here it's printed via the puts function. So this is how you can use Gitra's stack depth display to easily detect stack manipulations.